Hi Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your April 16th to the 30th, 2023 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds, letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see here the energy that spirit, oh goodness, the energy that spirit wants us to be mindful of. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly, guide this reading. Mm, Sir Nunus. So Sir Nunus is a chaos god. So this is the devil card in the in the Rider Waite Smith Rider Waite Smith deck. But Sir Nunus is a Celtic god of of chaos of nature. So just being mindful of that, being mindful of addictions, of of chaos, of doubt, of fears, of getting caught up in maybe the feel goodness of things without really thinking of the repercussions. That can also be something to be mindful of. And, and it might also, there we go. It might also be be just mindful of a, a Capricorn that is coming into your life or that's in your life. Because the devil represents Capricorn energy. This is also Saturn. Okay. So Capricorn is also ruled by Saturn. Saturn is very, you know, meticulous. It's very rule oriented. It's very like, you know, spreadsheets have it j just done just so. And there can be something here where it's like, okay, nature is uncontrollable. And yet I want to control this, this nature. And we're trying to control a natural part of ourselves. Now, if that natural part is something harmful, okay, then yes, control it. But if it's like, I'm turning myself, I'm turning away from my natural talents, my, my natural, you know, my natural gifts, because I don't feel like it's, it's fitting into the boxes, right? Then reevaluate because we can do that to ourselves for a go. And let's see what spirit has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Here we have purposeful. Having a purpose to us and living that purposeful, powerful existence is so important. Being purposeful, being connected. That's going to be one of the things that we get a lot of joy out of. It's like, this is my purpose. This is a big deal for me. You know, and people might not get it, Virgo. They might be like, oh, why are you being so serious? Or why aren't you doing the cool things? And it's like, no, but this is my purpose. Like this brings me tremendous joy. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Angels. Ooh. Oh, of course it falls on the floor. Hold up. I'm going to get it. Definitely this one and these. Interesting. The tower reversed. So we're rebuilding something. Okay, chariot. We feel a little bit out of control. And, you know, spirit's like, that's okay. It's okay to feel out of control, even though we don't want to. And that's one of the things that we have to be mindful of with the Sununu's energy, it's like, no, I want to be in control. I want to have everything just, just so, even though it's an energy of, you know, of nature of not being in control, it's like, no, but I need it to be in control. So just, just know that 
we're having a bit of that difficulty. We are crowned with the Knight of Wands, fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's an impetuousness to us. There's a fire, a tenacity, a determination that is leading us forward. We can also be a little bit hot-headed with things. So do be mindful about that, where it's like our temper can get the best of us or somebody else's temper can really have a say in the way that we think of things, the way that we are, um, the way that we're moving forward. It leads us to the Ace of Wands. Now we're definitely taking this gift of passion, creativity, fire, determination, but there's a real sense of I'm being inspired and being inspired by what I love, what I want, where I need to be, what I'm looking forward towards or what I'm looking forward to. I am embracing my inspiration. And there's also a torch in the darkness, like a light in the darkness that is illuminating, that is leading us forward, that is having us look at things so differently. The Ace of Cups, God's Source Spirit, again, like with the Ace of Wands, it's God's Source Spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, handing us a gift, not only of passion and creativity, but also about love. And this can kind of overwhelm, overwhelm us. You know, there, there's one thing about being passionate and being fiery and being determined. There's another thing where a lot of our emotions are coming to the surface, where we're looking at vulnerabilities and our heart is, is clearing away a lot of the gook, a lot of the, the weight that it has carried for a really long time. And there's a sense of my heart is being purified, like my love, my, my brilliance, my connections, what I am, am passionate about is leading me forward. And that's, it's, that's such a brilliant thing, but it's going to make us feel a bit uncomfortable. It's also going to be an energy that we're not really seeing ourselves take. We're seeing ourselves being a little bit sensitive and being a little bit overwhelmed and, and, you know, things just hitting our, you know, emotion strings just, just harder. It's like, wow, how, why am I feeling so much? I don't like it. And spirit's like, yeah, it's okay if you don't like it, but I'm moving you to the next level. But, you know, there's so much here that we're learning that it's just like, it's all accelerated right now. It leads us to the five of swords. We're going to be facing a situation, a person, you know, a place where we might not have had the best of memories. It's like, oh man, do I have to go back there? Or, oh, wow. I have to talk to this person. We're actually going to do a really good job. So do, do be aware of this with the, with the five of swords. It's a sense of stay true to yourself, you know, embrace what you're passionate about, embrace what you love and let that, let that heart really guide you forward. It, it doesn't mean that we have to hash out like, you know, hurts, pains, and disappointments. That's not really what we're here for right now. It's, it's really a sense of, this is my strength. This is what I'm going after. This is who I am. This is what I want. And as much as we're, we're facing those like old demons and doing a really good job with the chariot reverse, it's like, man, I don't feel like I'm, I'm really in control. And that can also be a part with our heart where we don't really feel all the time that we're in control. We can also have a cancer energy in our lives that we might have a really hard time communicating with and we might not feel like they listen to us or you know we could be speaking the same language but really we don't think that we are because they're not understanding us we're not understanding them so just be aware of that there's also a sense here of the reins are being taken away it's like i don't have control over this vehicle like the chariot the the chariot here right i don't have control over this the way that i thought i would so being aware of that as well is going to be very important i don't have the control that i thought i would have i don't have the insight the the way to maneuver this it's it's not in my it's not in my hands that's going to be something that we don't want to you know say or admit or you know have happen but it is going to be something that we have to be aware of so it's like okay something is out of our control and it's just going to have to write it out we're just going to have to write it out the tower reverse we're rebuilding we really are rebuilding Things have fallen apart. Things have gotten chaotic. We can question like, how did I even get here? Like, how did I get into this mess type of thing? But there's this, this real sense of, okay, now I'm building it. Now I can see, and we can, we can see the way things are supposed to be. We can see the beauty where the chaos had just overtaken it. And that's going to be really important. It's like, okay, I see the beauty. I see the passion. I see the brilliance. And now it is time for me to rebuild. I've had the, the shell shock. I've had the trauma I've had, the overwhelmed, but now it is time for me to move forward in passion and in creativity. And with these gifts that are really helping me, they're not hindering me because we can feel, you know, just that, that emotion, it feels so raw and our passion can be so much that we want to do everything. And we are like, oh my gosh, how do I do this? And then we can just 
freeze a little bit. So, so just be aware of that. It's like, oh, I want to do so much, but oh, I'm, I'm so overwhelmed. So, so being aware, being aware of this energy. Our subconscious energy to be mindful of is the three of swords reverse. Be mindful of that we're releasing a lot of heartbreaks and pains and disappointments. And it can make us, again, feel vulnerable, feel overwhelmed, feel a little bit raw, but it's a little bit wonderful. It moves us to our subconscious message from spirit. And this is gratitude. You know, embracing gratitude, embracing love, it, it heals the body. It really does. It heals our soul. It brings us to a place that is really quite spectacular. So embracing the gratitude, just letting the gratitude in, letting it wash over you is, is absolutely amazing. Our subconscious message from spirit, that's from spirit of the tarot is the 10 of pentacles reverse. There's something here where it can almost feel like I was supposed to get an inheritance, but I didn't, I was supposed to have this happen, but it didn't happen. And it felt like a letback, like a setback and a letdown when it happened. But there's, there's something here where it's like, oh, but it opened up a different door. Oh, but it led me forward in a different way. So that's going to be a really cool thing that it's like what was once seen as a setback because this is money or what we valued enough as much as money, where it's like, it didn't happen. It didn't pan out the way that I thought it opened up new doors. It led you on a new adventure. Okay. All right, Virgo. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Virgo. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. God bless. Bye.